The first thing you gotta do is go down to the basement and turn the power off because otherwise if you touch these wires, you're gonna get shocked. All right, I'm down here at the fuse box. So since I really don't know which one it is, I'm just gonna turn the whole power off in the whole house. This is only gonna take 10 or 15 minutes. And now I'm perfectly safe. Because sometimes you get in an old house you turn off the power to one and there's power going through to the other one. We're gonna get rid of that. Right here we're gonna pull this old, old dried up electric tape off of here. Look at this, it's just so brittle. It's coming right off and then we're gonna put this one on. Now that I've got the tape off, it exposes these screws here. I'm gonna try to get these off. And I'm not saving this item, so I'm going to back the screw all the way out, so like that. This one's got to hop over, I don't know why, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm getting the wires exposed. Taking it all the way off. Okay, I've got the old plug off now, and because this wire is exposed here, I'm going to tape it down, get, make it safe. I just roll it in here like this. Now, I'm also gonna straighten out that old hook here so I can put it into my socket. Okay, we've got the plug off and now we've taped off the first wire. And we, we wanna leave this wire extended as so we can put the new plug in there. Very nice. Now, if you take a look here, the old style was on the screw, and the new style is the plug-in kind, so I'm going to cut these off. Okay, so on here, we're going to leave this one on here. That's for an additional lead if you want to have more plugs on the GFI. Or if you take a look here, these new styles have a, a little hole in there where you just pretty much just stick this in and you tighten it up it's so easy and I like to have them nice and snug look at how easy that was I always like to totally tape these plugs so it doesn't touch the siding or the box when you're putting them back together again okay I have to pull this off here because it wasn't lined up properly now, I'm going to put S in the back here so I can push these right on in. It's a very tight fit. Okay, and now I see this old screw is going to have to come off so I can get a new one on there. It's actually they installed this one not using the box but right under the siding that'll be fine okay I'm gonna put drywall screws on here now cause the old screws just weren't working very well get them both started in the same hole first like this and just snug them up there you go there's one nice nice fit Okay, now I bought this waterproof cover. I'll put this on here. They have this rubber gasket here. It's got the knockout, so you just pretty much just push it out. And that's the first thing we're gonna put on the wall here is this. Now, it's got the holes lined up there, so I like to pull this plug out that tiny little plug there on each side like that and like that and just pretty much it'll stay there temporarily inside the box here you'll see they're including the screws for installing this it's pretty cut and dry they give you nice long ones and so those little tiny baby ones that you get all the time. 
got a, this thing is spring loaded and it also has a position for a lock if you don't want other people using your electricity. It's made to fit either style. We, we don't need the style plug. So, line them up and see what you're going to end up using. There's no hole in the bottom of this aluminum here. So I'm just going to take a small screw or a nail will be fine. You could take a nail and tap it through. But I just push it a little bit and get a hole started. Now I'm going to be able to get my real screw through there. Now I have my screw lined up in here and easily just going to hook it right in there to that little hole to get started. And I'm going to push it through to, at first to make sure it gets through the aluminum. No, oh, it's going easy. Okay, and then I'm going to put the bottom screw in. And the last part is to go down to the basement and turn the power back on again. Very nice, very nice. Okay, another job done. Take a look inside here, and there's our plug. And it's spring loaded, so you'll never have to worry about when it's raining, it'd be blowing a fuse. And of course, it's got the GFI setting here, you can call the reset here this one right here. If it blows, you come out here, click it, and you're back in service again.